This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koto and welcome to Bullet Heart in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is short, and it's a pretty simple game. I'm honestly not really sure what's going on in Bullet Heart. All I know is you are anime heroines and there's a ton of bullets flying around. Can you survive the onslaught? When a bullet reaches the bottom of your board it is placed here doing damage. A player is eliminated once all heart spaces are covered with bullets. The winner is the last player left standing. Variable player powers. Each character has unique powers and cards. Card management. You will have a deck of pattern cards to manage. Real time. This game is played with a timer. Player turn. Grab your heroine's boards and her matching action board and place a generic sight board in between them. Put your power token on the highest amount on the power track. Then shuffle your pattern cards and deal yourself three face up. Each character has unique powers and this character's power is to have an extra pattern available. Randomly take 10 bullet tokens from the central bag and place them into your personal bag. This bag is called your current. In the normal game, you'll have to finish placing and dealing with your current within 3 minutes. Draw one token from your current at a time and place them on your sideboard. Each of the 5 columns has a color. Place the bullet that many spaces down from the top of the matching column equal to its value. If a space is already occupied by another bullet, continue moving the bullet downwards without counting that space. This results in this pink 4 almost traveling right to the bottom in one move. Now let's place some more bullets down and then try to clear some. At any time we can spend power to use our abilities on the action board. We spend one power to move the red bullet one space down and repeat that process with the green bullet. We now have a pattern of bullet tokens that match one of our pattern cards. The top two bullets have even values and the other three in this pattern are marked with the explosion symbol. That means we remove those from our board. We then spend more energy to move a bunch of times in order to establish this pattern, which helps us clear all those pink bullets that were looking dangerous. Once you use a pattern, it is discarded. Some bullets have these star symbols on them. If you remove a bullet like that, trigger your star powers. Here, that would gain us one action point. Once your turn is finished, you can claim one of the central action tokens and add it to your board. And when the round is over, take all the tokens you removed this round, turn them over and give them to the player to your left. You will in turn gain the player from the rights tokens to your current. Then add more tokens based on the intensity track to your current, which goes up each round and after each player is defeated. Then redraw patterns up to your hand size and it's time for the next round. Why would you like this game? Bullet Heart is something that's quite different, a real time puzzle game that plays incredibly quickly and gets tense even faster. And I think this is a game that definitely won't be for everyone, but the people it is for will have been waiting for this exact game for a very long time. And that's because of its fast arcade style that legitimately pushes you to make a lot of decisions in an incredibly compressed time frame. It's all about seeing those patterns emerge, managing your limited resources and time, and maximizing what you can blow up. And there's a couple of additional play modes, including solo, team, and boss mode. All up a fascinating game but not a general recommendation. The uh, best thing about this game is the degree of asymmetry in the characters. They really do feel quite different. However, real-time games are not for everyone and can be deeply confusing and frustrating when you have rules issues. I suggest not playing real-time to start with. And real-time games like this need a high degree of trust and people who can accept when they make a bad move under pressure. Not everyone is that honest, plus some folks just find this game so very stressful. For a similar concept in a solo game, try Under Falling Skies. And for a different take on patterns, try Knock the Luca. Bullet Heart, it's an actual three-minute board game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.